Dile que se pare. Dale la mano. Hey, five dollar photo. <laughs> That's my friend. She comes right to my hands. Really? Y tu dora. <laughs> my, my daughter. I take care of every day. Every day for that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you take care. Five in the morning. We just got back to New York City. If I don't understand something, I'm asking you, and then you call me idiot. That's fucking crazy. I don't know. Yep, we're back in New York. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Okay. Um, where are you going, please? Tribeca. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Have a good day. Oh, we got back to the house. We slept for like four hours. It's 11 o'clock now. Owen and I are gonna go to the Apple store, and then we're all gonna go out for lunch as a family. As a family. Owen, please explain what happened to your laptop. It got stolen in San Francisco. How did it get stolen in San Francisco, Owen? They broke into the rental car via the window. One time, but it's not my fault. I mean, they like smashed into the window of his car, stole the kid's backpack when he was out there looking at colleges. Just a nice, honest college boy gets his stuff stolen. Get the cheapest MacBook Air. Okay, I do. MacBook. Oh, and looky here. This thing is huge. You're welcome. <laughs> Mission accomplished. We got the least expensive laptop that Apple makes. Do you see the World Trade Center? It's right there. That's Owen, that's Candace, that's Candace's dad. Heading home now, baby's going down for a nap. I'd love to get into the studio and do a little bit of renovation today. Way easier to work in there on the weekends. Quick coffee break. I want the theme of my new desk to be all about surveillance. A panopticon, that is, panopticon. It was a prison design wherein one guard from one position could see all of the cells. One guard could monitor the entire prison. Okay, just stick a pin in that. I wanna have like 10 monitors showing me 10 different perspectives on the environment around my office at all times. So for my new desk here, I want this entire wall just to be filled with monitors. Now it's like a little bit crazy, but mostly it's like when I'm here working at my desk and I'm editing and I'm trying to focus, when I hear noises, like someone knocking at the door, someone buzzing the door downstairs, someone walking through the hallway, I'm really susceptible to distraction. And I'm like, what is that? And if I can just look up and see exactly what it is, distraction over, back to work. So it's like 98% me just being like a psychopath, but like 2% actually like a pragmatic thing to have all of this surveillance. Here's where I am so far. This little monitor here, it's labeled 201. This is so I can see what's going on outside the 201 entrance to this office space. That monitor is connected to this hidden camera right here. What's up, Owen? It's not for security because I don't record any of it. This little monitor, this is labeled 202, and this is, yeah, it's outside the 202 door. This is so I can see what's going on in the street outside my office building. This big one is so I can see what's going on at Beam headquarters. This here is actually just of the space behind me. This monitor is kind of a rear view mirror. See Owen standing there waving? He's actually just right here waving. What's missing from all of this, what I need, is a really robust image of exactly what's happening outside my office building door on the sidewalk in front of the building. This huge monitor is for that image. This thing, by the way, was like $120 on Amazon. Remember when these flat screens were like eight, 900 bucks? Probably not, because you're young. Owen's back here rifling through all my stuff. Find anything interesting back there, boy? 
Somebody sent me this. Do you want to try and open it? Why would they send it to you locked? I don't know. Probably so I could open it. I mean, there are no keys here. Let's open it. Casey, we're fans of your movies. We shot a short film called Drone Blender that has been chosen as an official selection at the New York City Drone Film Festival. We thought you'd appreciate the destroyed drone from our film. Dear Billy and Damien, I do appreciate your ingenuity and I thank you for sending me your busted, busted, busted drone. We wish you the very best of luck at the Drone Film Festival. So here's where I'm at. To get the maximum quality image, I'm gonna be using this GoPro 3 that I have. I'm gonna run this out the window and then mount it to the exterior of the building. But I'm missing a really long mini USB cable to run constant power. This project, to be continued. But, whatever Owen has on his feet here. What is that? Are they all set up properly? I think so. People send me all kinds of weird stuff in the mail. Some of it I play with, some of it I don't. I Owen, play with it all. <laughs> Owen plays with it all. He just found these things. Whoa, do it again. You gotta go faster. There's no way you're doing it right. No, I think I'm... I'm gonna put on a pair and try these, these things. A little bit. Get the f*** off the sidewalk! There's like a uh, Harley Davidson store next door and these assholes on their Harleys like ride up the sidewalk here. This bag rode his Harley up up the sidewalk and I started screaming at him. You know, I'll, I'll do what I can is what I'm saying, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna yell at a 40 year old man, you know what I mean? I'll probably be popping one if he's under the influence of something. Well, whatever, <laughs> like Harley, someone from your company should be taking responsibility. Oh, sure, I mean, I could tell the like owner. You're a part of this community, and it sucks for So, Harley Davidson, this message is for you. You should take some responsibility for your company, because no one in there would take responsibility for the actions of your customers. And that guy could have killed somebody. All right, back to my roller skates. I set them all up. There's just that piece of scissors. Thing. Where's the scratchy part? My feet are way too... I know. Feet are way too big for these things. These things are made for six year olds, though. <laughs> these are like roller skates you put on your sneakers and then they make sparks, but they're made for little, little kids. I think that's gonna be a wrap for our sparkling shoes. They're definitely not made for adult-sized humans. We didn't get the surveillance wall set up. I didn't get the GoPro working. We broke two pairs of rocket skates. I almost got in a fight with a guy in a Harley. We locked ourselves out of the building. Oh, and you should come help me at work more often. All right, time to get out of here. I'll win. Oh, and you look like you got laid off from your job.